Hey guys, this is James Elkins with uh, Multi GP Lap Sync. I, uh, I'm going to show you today how to do the uh, wireless timing system using telemetry radios. Uh, before we get started, I figured I'd kind of show you around where the magic happens. Give you a quick look see here at my man cave slash hobby room. Um, this is pretty much uh, the bench where I work on everything. Uh, I've got some stuff here and that I'm currently working on, some quads there. Uh, and I got my 3D printer over here. Of course, you got to have a TV, air conditioner. Uh, and then here is my computer setup where I do a lot of my development and playing on the internet, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. All my toys. I'm currently working on some drones, target drones for the military. Um, so it's kind of a mess in here right now. Got some antenna trackers I'm working on. Uh, this is a target drone. And another one there in the floor. So it's a little bit of a mess, but uh, this is where I like to spend my time. But anyway, so uh, let's get started here on this uh, telemetry system. Okay, so here's the components we need. We've got the, uh, the telemetry modules. I got off eBay for 21 bucks. Uh, this is the USB host adapter. Um, basically, it just converts the uh, USB serial back to serial, and then a plug to plug it into your timing system. Uh, and then here's an FTDI programmer to help program the telemetry modules uh, using mission, mission planner. And then here is our uh, end result that we are going to get to with this setup. And I have our uh, TrackMate system plugged into it. So let me hook this all up and we'll get started. The air module comes with two cables, uh, a little splicing cable and then a Y cable. Um, this little plug here had the transmit line and uh, uh, power and ground. I moved, I removed the transmit and I moved the ground over one so it would match up with the FTDI tool. So basically all you have to do is power this up so that they're connected when you program them in Mission Planner. So let me get it connected here and then I'll show you what to do in Mission Planner. Okay, as you can see, I've got them both plugged in here and powered on. They have solid green lights, so that means they're connected. Um, I got Mission Planner open here. So now we go to uh, Initial Setup. And you go to the, the radio. Uh, under optional hardware and select the COM port that is plugged into. Mine's plugged into COM4 and you got to set the COM port to what, or I'm sorry, the baud rate to what the baud rate is on the radios. And uh, the default is the 57600 but I have already programmed these so it's 9600. So then I'll load settings takes it a minute okay so now you can see this is the local which is the ground station you can see this is the remote which is the air station so you want to set them both to the uh, baud rate of 9 which is 9600 and then I set both to raw data for the Mavlink. I'm not sure that that had any effect, but uh, that's what I did. So that's really the only two uh, settings you need to change, and then you just save settings. And remember, they default to the 5700, so if you save the settings, you'll get an error when it tries to reconnect, and that's because uh, you gotta change the baud rate. So there, it's done writing the settings, so that's all you have to do. Now we just have to get it connected to that. Okay guys, as you can see here, I've got it uh, soldered up now. So I just used the little pigtail jumper and I uh, went from uh, ground to zero volts is what it says on here, but it's the second pad. 
uh, plus 5 volts to 5 volts on here, which is the first pad. And then I took RX and TX and swapped them and put them on the RX and TX over here. So RX goes to TX and TX goes to RX. Uh, and then something I forgot to mention earlier was the 5 volt regulator. So I ran, uh, spliced some extra wires here for power and we'll add the 5 volt regulator uh, with a uh, XT60 plug for power. The XT60 soldered on to the 5 volt regulator. Uh, this 5 volt regulator has an adjustment, so I want to make sure that it's putting out 5 volts before I solder it up to make sure it doesn't overpower the electronics. I'm going to use my bench power supply to get that adjusted, uh, and then I'll get that done and get it soldered up. Got the voltage adjusted and got it soldered up. Got the USB adapter plugged into it. All you got to do is plug your trackmate or your iLaps into that. Plug this into the laptop, power it up, and uh, it'll be ready to go. I'm going to print a 3D case for it and cut a pipe so it'll look just like this. I'm a 3D printer over there, and I'll have it uh, ready to give away to a lucky chapter at the Multi GP Chapter Organizer Summit in Muncie, Indiana. So if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Facebook in the Lap Sync group. Um, and thanks for watching. See ya.